Yo, what is up you guys? I'm out on the river. I know it's been a long time, but I wanted to bring to you guys this week uh, a tying video on a fly that I call the picky eater. That fish that you just saw me release, that's what it ate, the picky eater. It's a great fly. Uh, but like always, I wanna give you guys some reasons why I like this fly. So this fly is what is referred to as a mid-tag nymph, meaning that the hot spot is directly behind the bead. It's not on the tail and it's not the bead itself. It's right in the middle, which I think gives it just a little bit different look to everything else that you see out there. The next thing that I would say about this fly is that it is a pretty imitative fly. It's a fly that I will fish in an 18 and a 20. And when the fish are being real picky, it's something that I'll bring out of my box. Uh, just knowing that I need to give them something different, not something big or obnoxious or anything like that. It's a smaller fly quill body and it's just got that little hot spot that just gives it a little something different okay i want to interrupt those reasons why i like this fly to kind of just talk to you guys for a second about where i've been so uploading a video every single week it gets real tiring real fast it's a lot of work right so i just wanted to take a break kind of get back to just fishing on my own and uh, not having to worry about taping anything or videoing what i'm doing but uh, my goal is to get back to it and release a video to you guys every two weeks instead of every week. I think that's a little bit more sustainable going into the future. So that's what I'm gonna shoot for is one video every two weeks. But let's get back into those reasons. And the other thing that I've incorporated into this fly is the CDC collar. That's something that's really important to me. I put it on a lot of my patterns and I think that having that CDC collar just lowers the sink rate slightly, gives the fly a little bit more movement and you know if you're fishing a pertagon and the fish aren't really taking it if you switch to a pertagon with a cdc collar a lot of times that slight difference will be the difference between catching a fish and not catching a fish at all so those are kind of some reasons that i like this fly but uh let's get into tying it and uh i'll show you how it's done okay let's tie this fly so in the vise this is a daihiku 303 it's a short shanked hook um, this is a size 16, which is like a true size 18, you would say. These are about a size smaller than they're marked on the label. Um, really like this hook. Great hook. Holds fish really well, uh, so you won't be dropping a lot of fish with this hook. And that's the primary reason that I like it. Um, and then you'll see, I've matched this up with a 2.8 millimeter uh, tactical fly fisher slotted copper bead. Um, I tie this fly in a lot of different quill colors with a lot of different tag colors. But today we're gonna do a yellow with a pink combo. Uh, I got some nano silk, 30 denier, and kind of an olive color. It doesn't really matter. You're not gonna see much of the thread on this fly. So I'm gonna start that thread right behind that bead, come in and get rid of the excess. And we're gonna wrap back all the way to where the bar would be, right there at the back of the hook. Now I've got some speckled dark pardo um, CDL. And I'm gonna take, I like my tails to be a little thicker than some people. Some people like them real small, but this fly's got a lot going on. So I'll take about, I don't know, maybe that many. That's probably like six to eight fibers, about like that. Um, I'm just gonna strip those off. You can see I've got those there come in and pinch them, do a little pinch wrap with the thread, get that right up on top of the hook. And you can see that that, that tail is way too long right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this forward to about there. We want it to be about the same length as the shank of the hook. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap this forward just to capture those fibers. Come in, trim off those fibers. Good there. Now we're gonna come back all the way back to that same position where we tighten that tail. And we're gonna take our uh, stripped peacock quill here. This is a yellow color, these Polish quills. And we want the dark side of the quill down. Um, that's how we're gonna create the segmentation in the body. These quills kind of have like two colors. They have part that's dark and then the part that's light. So we want that dark part down towards us. I'm gonna capture that. And I like to wrap this all the way forward, just like that. Trim this off. 
And we're gonna come in with just a little bit of super glue. And we're gonna put that right on top of the shank right there. And that's just basically to give us a little bit of insurance with that peacock quill so that it won't fall apart when we're catching lots of fish with this. And we're gonna come with our hackle pliers and we're gonna capture the end of that quill and then we're just gonna wrap this in touching turns all the way forward. Just like this. And this is just how you would tie like a quilt gun or something like that. Same sort of process. Undo that. I'm gonna come in, trim off that peacock quill, save it because there's usually enough on those to get two or three flies. And then we're gonna kind of just capture this, make sure it's nice and seated. Don't worry about this bead spinning on top right now. We'll lock that in place in a little while. Okay, now we're gonna come in with some squirrel dub. This is UV tracer dub, squirrel dub. We're just gonna take like the tiniest little pinch of that, like hardly anything. And we're gonna take that, put that right on our th thread, do a nice little dubby noodle there. Um, and the reason we do this is that this is gonna help us splay out the hot tag. So you can see it's created just tiniest little bump there. Basically all that does is it helps this tag pop straight up when it's tied in place and not lay flat on the body. So we're gonna take a little piece of this and trim that off. And we're just gonna double this up like so. So I've doubled that over. I'm gonna come in right on top. And we're gonna capture this hot thread right up on top of the fly. So we're gonna do a few wraps there to lock it in place so it won't slide out. We're gonna pull this back and kind of wrap back over it just slightly. Okay, so you can see we've got four strands there. They're up on top of the fly. You don't want them turned to the side. You want them on top. And I'm gonna come in and we're gonna trim off the excess. So it's just a little tiny tag, similar to the length of the body. So now we've got our little hot tag, little mid tag up top. And we're almost done with the fly. So at this point, we're gonna create a loop with our thread for the CDC. So you can see that little hot spots up on top. We're gonna come in, create a loop with our thread. And now we've got a CDC feather. And this is like a natural done color. Um, you can use anything like that. Anything natural, uh, just to give it a little bit of movement. So I'm gonna cut off actually just a little bit like this. And I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna use one side of it inside that dubbing loop. So let's get this untwisted. Okay, we're gonna take that CDC and we're gonna put it in there and we're gonna capture it in our thread. We're gonna come in with our scissors and we're gonna trim that off. So now we've got a nice little CDC there and now we're gonna spin this up like so. Give that a good nice spin. Okay, that's good. Now we're just gonna make forward wraps on this in the same exact spot, kind of brushing back those fibers as we go. Just like this. And then we're gonna capture that loop off. Come in, trim off our loop. Kind of pull everything back. Get a nice little capture there. I'm gonna add a little bit of super glue to the thread here just to lock that in place. Come in with the whip finish. Make sure it's nice and tight. Trim off that thread right there. Now the last thing to do is to make sure that these fibers are not too long. So we're gonna come in about the length of the tail and we're gonna pinch those off, right? Now we've got shorter fibers. I'm gonna make sure we don't have too many fibers in there. You just want a little bit, not overwhelming. And that right there is your finished picky eater. Mid tag nymph. Works great. Get out there in the water and fish it.